Okay, hi everybody. My name is Lisa, and this is going to be a writing class this hour here on Verbling.com. So if you are interested in practicing your writing skills in English, then uh, come and join us here by clicking on the Join Class button. I started just a minute or a couple minutes late because I was finishing up the last hour. We were reading about the secret Starbucks in Sochi, in the Olympic Games. Um, so that was interesting. But now let me put up the link for you guys. There's the link to go okay, to the document. I'm Lisa, and, and this is going to be a writing class this hour. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are Okay, so you guys, um, you know what to do here. So we'll see if other people show up. So far, hi Zaki, hi Mohammed. And Hamid and Graciela and Donato. Hi, guys. Um, Hi, Lisa. Hi. How are you? How are you guys doing today? Good? Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing okay. We had a storm last night, and we had some power out for about an hour, which was something that hasn't happened for a long time. Um, but it was really windy and really raining, and I guess some tree branches fell down on um, some power lines. So we didn't have electricity for a little while. So we had to order pizza and go pick it up <laughs> for dinner because <laughs> we, we couldn't cook our dinner. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, well, I think you guys know what to do. I'll put it in the screen share, and then people who might want to join us can. Um, if you had a reservation, then you can use that, or by now probably is just the regular uh, join class button. That's probably up right now. <clears throat> so anybody who is a Verbling.com member can join any class at any time as long as you see the join class button. Um, here's uh, the... Uh, people are dropping in and out, so I don't know if people... I was having some connection uh, slowdowns earlier, but maybe some other people are also experiencing some of that. So you can always write about a recent movie that you watched. Number two says, what was one of the best things about your childhood? So you can talk about that, something that you liked. Number three is, how do you spend an afternoon alone? So if you have some time to yourself, what do you like to do? And number four is describe a time when you were lucky. So when you felt lucky, so maybe something good happened to you and you thought you had a, some good luck. Here's this picture again. <laughs> this guy, he's boogie boarding, and there's a lot of other people here um, in the water, in the ocean. So you can either describe what's happening in the picture or you can write a story. I like when people write uh, stories. They're usually kind of funny. And then here's where you can finish this story. So this is like a beginning of a story. Yesterday was her last day at work. From now on, she would. And then you can explain what is she going to do now after you're not having to go to work anymore. Uh, or you can write your own piece, free write. And if you're working on TOEFL essays, this is the statement. Some people prefer to live in a small town. Others prefer to live in a big city. Which place would you prefer to live in? Use specific reasons and details to support your answer. So in your essay, you need to choose small town or big city, and then you need to give reasons why. And you would give uh, reasons and give examples. So if you say, you know, you like to live in a small town because it's, it's more peaceful, then you would give an example of why it is or how it is. And you can uh, write right there. So I think we don't have anybody new to the writing class, so everybody can just get started. Does anybody have a, a question for, or anything you want to tell us? Uh, can you share? Okay. Okay, so if somebody is out there watching, coming across this, this is the writing practice class. It's just a time for you to uh, practice writing uh, in English. I bought a bijouterie. What did you buy? Hello. Oh. <laughs> and um, 
So this is just a time to do that. And when you're done, then I correct it and give you feedback and answer any questions that you might have. So um, if you want to take some time out of your day and spend it on writing in English to help you do that, then this is a good time to do that. I'm going to mute my microphone and I'll be quiet. And then when you guys are ready, unmute your microphone and tell me that you're ready and I'll correct. It's okay. Okay, great. Hi, Yuki. I'll put the link in the group chat for you. Hi. Look there. Oh, thank you. Uh huh. Okay. Hello, Mustafa. I'll put the link for you in the group chat. <clears throat> there you go.
I'm done, Lisa. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I spent my time at home alone and nothing special to do. I lived uh, this experience yesterday. I was alone in my... I met your sound cut off. I met... I can't hear you. Amit, I can't hear you. What happened to your sound? I should talk or uh, uh, do <laughs> Amit, minutes. Yes. I, cu I couldn't hear you. My yeah, connection, this. my connection is a little bit problematic. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. I should walk or uh, do mini sport activities. When I stay at home, I could be a coach potato because of sitting too much. Whatever the reason is, this uh, to be alone sometimes, both uh, joyful and boring. <laughs> okay. All right. So I spend my time at home alone. I would say with nothing special to do. I lived this experience yesterday. Uh, period. I was alone in my hotel room. Period. I just watched some movies on my laptop and I attended an awesome lesson with this lesson's teacher on on uh, just verbling. That lesson was unusual as always with her and the students' uh, uh, differences, I would say. On the other hand, generally I find interesting articles to read um, on all kinds of topics on the internet from anthropology to zoology because I try to be um, I would say a I try to be a multi in the word is that we is multifaceted person in my life I believe that it provides good opportunities to find uh, or maybe to just to meet new to meet new people and to communicate uh, easier with them or more easily easily with them or the situation occurs waste time for me okay or if this situation occurs and it is a waste a waste of time for me I should I would say go walking or do some uh, mini sports activities when I stay at home, I um, I would say I can be uh, a couch potato because of sitting too much. Whatever the reason is, um, is comma to be alone sometimes, and I would say can be both joyful and boring. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Just a couple of little corrections there, but not much. Mm -hmm. Good. So, uh, how was the Congress? It was nice. Uh, I uh, met with some people, uh -huh. uh, and my uh, company's uh, owner's uh, brother also came to this Congress. So, uh -huh. uh, he made uh, me uh, meet new people, because these uh, people are important uh, for my company. Mm. And uh, he also said to me, for example, in our staying hotel, uh, you know, there are some uh, shops in the hotels. Yeah. So uh, our company's uh, products uh, are in that uh, store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hotel store, it means uh, my company is uh, very powerful. Yeah. has a distribution in lots of different areas. Yes. Different retail outlets, we call them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Nice. Mm -hmm.
So you're doing some networking. Mm. Do you know what that is? Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. I uh, I like I I, uh, I look like uh, after uh, just a second. I will check one word. Mm -hmm. There is, uh, there, there is one animal, uh, and this animal has a lot of uh, legs. That's the second I will, I will be octopus. You will be what? Octopus. I will octopus, write. an octopus, yeah, with lots of arms. Yes. Okay. To uh, get uh, to network uh, too much to many different places. Uh huh. Like yes. octopus. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. Great. Do you want to uh, write some more? I can try. Okay. Good. Graciela, do you want to read some of yours? Uh, repeat it, teacher. Do you want to read some of your answers? Uh, the answers? Yeah, do you want to read? Uh, no, no, I must have finished here. Okay.
Is I am done second. Okay. You can. I was. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Can I? Mhm. Mm I was lucky in my registering day for my master's school. In that day, when I checked the website of university, the registering day was deadline day. My lucky came from uh, that my supervisor. Mm, can't hear you. Hamid? Yes, can you hear me? No, I can hear you now, but I didn't hear you when you were reading. I don't know the reason, but I have some issues with my internet. Okay, well let me correct it. I was, uh, okay, it says, I was lucky, and we call it um, registration day, registration day. So I was lucky on my registration day for my master's uh, program. Um, on that day, when I checked the website, uh, you can say of the university, or you can say the university's university's website, and then I would say I would take that. I'm going to change it around. It was uh, the in, instead of deadline day, we would say the last day to register, um, period. My luck, my luck, so you, a person is lucky but you have luck, so my luck came f um, from, and I would say the fact that my supervisor helped me with some registration issues. Um, I finished it in the last 30 minutes um, before before they closed the department, um, period. I would say that. Um, I was also lucky to have to have my master's entrance entrance interview entrance interview. Um, Okay, I was also lucky, I would say, when I had my master's entrance interview, period. I knew all, uh, so instead of all being asked questions, I would say all, I knew all the questions, the questions that were being asked, and I won this interview, um, uh, and I, I would say, and I was the first person to win this interview for that term. Also, I was a scholarship student during my master's program. Uh, this was my third lucky situation. Finally, I finished my master's. Um, in two years with my supervisor, so I was the first person to finish in two years with that supervisor. Uh, this was was my fourth and last lucky situation um, in my master's. I would just say to program. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, so that went pretty well for you then, huh? <laughs> Good. And how is this writing? Well, that one I had to correct some more things, but I'm noticing that um, it's a matter of how, like again, the word order and how we describe things. So I'm noticing that when you're describing, you're describing it and then putting it at the end. So you said like my registering day, but that um, that's understandable. I know what you're talking about, but we just use registration day. It's like that's the whole term right there, the day that you register for classes. Okay. Yeah. And where was the other one? Yeah. So I knew all the questions. You said all the being asked questions. And so we would I would I changed it to the questions that were being asked. So the questions that they were asking you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I understand that uh, when I uh, ex when I do exercise much, yes. Uh, I will I will improve. Uh-huh. Yeah, because it's it's kind of just really getting into that uh, pattern, like hearing the patterns that we use. And the more you keep trying, the more you'll uh, learn. But also the more you keep trying, the more you'll come into the things that you don't know yet. So that's good. So to keep trying to say things, even if you mm -hmm. say them incorrectly and then you get corrected, that's good because that's like you're pushing yourself to learn more, you know. So... Yes. That's why it's good to write about a lot of different things, talk about a lot of different things, because some some um, areas you might be very good at. And, you know, if we talk about those all day, you won't be making hardly any mistakes. But then we move into a different subject area, and then that's where, like, the weaknesses show up. And that's good, because you want to know, and then you can work on those. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes uh, error uh, plus error equals uh, true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's learning. You know, that's the definition of learning because otherwise you would already know it and you wouldn't be learning. You would just be doing. So <laughs> I think people have to realize that it's just all part of learning. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is anybody else ready to read uh, theirs? Uh, Lisa, uh, the... I need to make your this uh, six and seven. Uh, you don't have to. You can read first, and we can do some corrections, and then you can do some okay. if you want. You can do more if you want. Yeah. All right. I almost finished the six. Okay. Great. Six, no five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Zaki, do you want to read yours? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, nowadays, people prefer to leave. Uh, uh, nowadays, people pre uh, prefer to leave in a big city because there are a lot of facilities are available for them. In a big city, you would find easily earn money. You would easily earn money. So people want to live in a big city. I prefer to live in a big city. In a big city, uh, you would find a lot of companies are available. Those who want a job, people cannot find a job in a small town with a good salary. 
so it is better to live in a big city you would never find any difficult about electricity and water in the big city there are lots of shopping malls available to do shopping in a, a shopping mall you can purchase whatever you require for instance one of my friend is living in a big city named as mumbai he was an engineer and doing work in a multinational company he told me that in mumbai the life is very comfortable compared to a small town you would find a lot of facilities are available compared to a small town now, on the other hand the this train has some disadvantage in a big city you would find a lot of environment pollution and noise pollution this is very danger, dangerous for health this type of uh, problem you would you would not find in a small town most of the old people want to live in a small town because they want they want silent as well as they do they do not want noise pollution and air pollution for it nowadays in my area the old people want to settle in a small town they feel most comfortable living in a small town compared to a big city in conclusion i would like to say that Uh, the young people want to live in a big city for the job purposes after retirement they want to live, move in a small town and live over there till then this is a fact of the modern world mm-hmm. good okay nowadays people prefer to live in a big city because there are lots there and then put the verb there so there are a lot of facilities available for them Okay. And I would say actually you could say nowadays people prefer to live in big cities so it's kind of more general and because people we're talking oh. about lots of different people in lots of yes. different cities so um okay. in a big city you I would say instead of you would you can easily earn money so people want to live in a big city um you can say so that is why people want to live in a big city i prefer to live in a big city in a big city and i you don't need to put wood there you find a lot of companies uh and you could just say you find a lot of companies available for those who want a job uh so for those who want so it's like they want a job the people who want a job people cannot find uh i would say good jobs in small towns with uh good salaries so we're talking about the people finding different types of jobs and with good salaries so it is better to live in a big city you would never um and i would keep it in just present tense you never find any difficulties with electricity and water in a big city there are lots of shopping malls spelled like that available to do shopping in a shopping mall you can purchase whatever you require just present tense for instance one of my friends is living in a big city named you could just put named mumbai uh period he and i would keep it in present tense he is an engineer and doing work in a multinational company he told um me he told me that in mumbai the life is very comfortable compared to uh, i would say compared to living in a small town uh you find a lot of facilities available compared to uh being in a small town On the other hand this trend has some disadvantages in a big city you find a lot of environmental pollution and noise pollution this is very dangerous for health and i would say instead of this since you're talking about two different things these these types of problems you um do not find in a small town most of the old people want to live in a small town because they want silence as well as uh period and i would just actually i would put a semicolon there they do not want noise pollution and air pollution for instance nowadays in my area comma the old people want to settle so that's the infinitive there to settle in a small town 
they feel most comfortable living in a small town compared to a big city. In conclusion, I would like to say that the young people want to live in a big city for, uh, for, the, for job purposes. After retirement, comma, they want to move to, they want to move to a small town and live over there till death. This is a fact of the modern world. Period. Okay. Yes, that's true. Any questions? Teacher, uh, if I agree to this point, uh, I prefer to live in a big city. Uh, I have, in conclusion, uh, in in a body paragraph, what I have to tell about for myself, or I have to talk about general in in a body paragraph, middle paragraph. In the last one, um, yeah, you could say, um, you, I would end it with something like some. Uh, so for now, since I am interested in finding a good job and living a comfortable life, I prefer to live in a big city. And then you could even say, like, for more, you know, like to show that you're more, you can say more. Um, but perhaps when I retire, I may also want to return okay. to a small town or something like that. Okay. Or I may oh. also want to live, live okay. in. Yeah. Uh, teacher, if I prefer, then I have to uh, in conclusion I have to mention about myself. Yeah, what I think I, so. Okay. Because you have to pay attention to yeah what this where's <laughs> where did it go oh. right here oh. the um yeah because the question is which place would you prefer Before. to live in yeah okay. so it's kind of asking for personal personal. Okay. Information. Mm -hmm. So in conclusion, I have to uh, I have to mention in uh, introduction paragraph about me or in con in conclusion. Both. Both. Okay. Yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, okay. For sure. re reasons, uh, uh, I have to mention reason also uh, in introduction paragraph or in conclusion paragraph. Yeah. I mean, the way that you took you um, did it was not personal. You you answered the question more like explaining what some people do. But another way you could do it is I'll show you like so for the outline, you can make yourself like an outline. So the introduction would be um, you know, general information like you gave about why people live in one place or another. So some people like to live here, some people like there, and then you say what you like at the end, you know, say what you prefer. And then you would give your so the second paragraph could be your first reason. So that would be jobs. And then you give it like you did. You gave an example of your friend. And then in the third paragraph, you would give your second reason, which you did, which is about uh, pollution, you know. And then you could do a fourth paragraph. Maybe uh, it could be another, your third reason why, which okay. could be something like uh, more opportunities for fun, you know, like maybe movies and concerts and stuff like that. Opportunities. And then your um, conclusion, then you just say, you know, in conclusion, uh, you would re you you basically say the same thing again, but in short sentences, and then you end end with saying something like uh, so. Therefore, you know, for now, I prefer to live in a big city, something like that. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Sure. Okay, let's see, Mohammed, you're ready. Graciela, you're ready. Graciela, why don't we yes, start with yeah. you? You have some, lots of different ones here. Okay, let's do number one. Graciela, mm -hmm. you can read it. Yesterday, I watched the movie Robocop. This movie is very good because the director is from Brazil, José Padilla. That same uh, made the movie Tropa de Elite 1 and 2, both movies from Brazil. Okay. Yesterday, uh, there yeah. was, I'm going to correct it now. Yesterday, All I right. watched the movie Robocop and then put a period there. This movie um, is very good. 
uh, because the director yes. is Brazilian. And then you could just put a comma, Jose Padilla. Um, and then I put a period, and then I would say he is the same uh, director that made the movie Tropa de Lito 1 and 2, both movies from Brazil. Okay? So okay. Both, just a couple of just a couple of things there. Both movies from Brazil. Number two, let me I guess I better read it because we have I have a lot of correcting to do now. So when I All when right. you could say as a child, as as a child comma, I remember many things, period. But the thing that, I would say the thing that most marked my childhood was the orphanage where my mother worked, in a period. Um, I would just say I had to go with her, and this was very good because I had a lot of children to play, and you could just put with, play with. So you got to play with a lot of children. Good. Uh, okay, I like to study, yeah. read a book, and watch TV. Uh, I would say, I could just say to learn to learn English. Uh, but sometimes, sometimes, comma, I like to go shopping uh, to look for new, and then you can just say things. I like to go shopping to look for new things. Number four, I remember when I was 14 and my school had a bingo, uh, maybe game, or bingo night, we call it sometimes, and, um, wait a minute, you were 14 or you were 10? Uh, 14. Okay, then I would just say, and I won nine awards or nine uh, for for bingo. Uh -oh. We call them prizes. Yeah, because the bingo have ten. The, uh, oh, the prize. right. Won nine out uh, of ten prizes. You could say. Yeah, but, uh, the the school have the ten. Yeah. The prize I won nine. Yeah, right. So you can say I won nine out of 10 prizes. So you ah, won almost okay. all of them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's see. Next one. This guy is so happy. <laughs> I think it must be the first time he's surfing. The water uh, was very good, but the weather is... What do you mean close? The weather is... Uh, I don't have sun. Uh, cloudy. Cloudy. Mm -hmm. Um, it should be a good day to have fun with friends on the beach. Good. Okay, so <laughs> travel and refresh. You relax. Yeah, you could say uh, refresh or relax. You could say she's going to mm -hmm. relax. Okay, good. All right. Okay, yes. Mohammed. Let's see number five. Yes. All right. I will read it since we're running out of time. Yesterday night. So we don't say yesterday night. We say last night. Whenever we're talking about yesterday, but at the nighttime, we always say last night. I saw myself tagged in a photo <laughs> uh, um, in my Facebook account for my friend Michael. Um, I was period sure, comma. It's not the first time, but it was a real. You could say it was a real surprise, or you could say it was really a surprise. So either way. Uh, this is John in the photo, my old friend. Um, at the beginning, I didn't know him. Something changed in his life and thought. What do you mean, and thought? You can continue, so you know. I remembered him when we were... Okay, at the beginning, I didn't know... Oh, at first, okay. At first, when you saw the picture. Okay, at first, I didn't know him. Something changed in his life. Um... You could say, I thought. I remembered him when we were at college. He was a very shy person, afraid, um, afraid of, and we and not his shade, but his shadow. Uh, yeah, he had a phobia and and was sometimes aggressive. Okay. Oops. It took. I would say it took me 30 seconds to remember how 
wide he could extend his arms when he saw someone new. <laughs> ah, this photo, like many photos, was taken um, for him when he saw a new person. But why, why did he take it at the shore? Maybe he saw a mermaid or a group of them for the first time. Thinking and thinking, there are many things in my head but I can't give a reason for that and suddenly something happened near the photo something started to move on my screen moving like the waves which he uh, laid on what's happening <laughs> this photo uh, has I would say has 100 comments and 150 likes or had 100 comments and 150 likes in 20 seconds what then I saw many hee hee and laugh out loud without understanding anything. I was shocked, really. Then I read at the top of uh, Michael's status, my first project in Photoshop. It was a fake picture. <laughs> okay, good. That's good. That's clever. <laughs> nice. Yes, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. good. Okay, Donato, let's see. We're. Oh, you're up here. Oh, you saw the movie Django. Okay, the most recent movie I've seen is a western entitled Django. It is a bloody plot, um, who, which I would say, which has, which has Quentin Tarantino as a director and Leonardo DiCaprio as, I would say, the main, the main character. The story tells about the fragmented life of a black man, Django, during the period in which the states. Uh, were struggling due to slavery. At the beginning, Django is a slave set free by a bounty hunter because he could be useful for his skills as a gunman and because he knows the faces of a hunted band. Um, band of people? All right. Donato? Donato? I mean bandits. Bandits, okay. A hunt, uh, faces of and then a I would band say, of bandits. Oh, okay. Uh, a hunted band of bandits. Good. Uh, since that moment, they are involved in many adventures, all concerned with the capture of dangerous criminals, which make them collect a lot of rewards. The last band um, is the one who took his family into slavery and was still holding his wife. They lived in the residence of the character performed by Leonardo DiCaprio, an un inscrupulous, rich, oh wait, hold on, inscrupulous, scrupulous, you have to look it up how to spell it, <laughs> an unscrupulous, unscrup rich man who lives surrounded by people who maltreat his uh, black slaves. Among them, there is Django's wife, and once the bounty hunter succeeds to kill the wanted band of bandits, uh, they try to negotiate her freedom. Unfortunately, comma, uh, DiCaprio's accountant, a mean black servant, black servant who had gained his freedom for the loyalty to him, finds out about, we could say, the relationship among Django and his wife. Therefore, Django and his companion are obliged to pay a lot of money and this circumstance is the beginning of a shooting. Django's, Django's companion, uh, DiCaprio, got killed, and Django is detained, but in the end he succeeds in killing his adversaries and rejoining his wife. In my opinion, the most impressive thing is the way in which the director turns a dramatic, to some extent cruel, and for story, plenty of blood and killing into non-tragic art using non-tragic tone. That seems to be uh, Quentin Tarantino's specialty. <laughs> yeah. Being really violent but not feeling the, the pain of it or something. Or the feelings. Yeah, always. Is yes. it style, no? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Interesting. I haven't seen that movie, so would you recommend it? Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of Tarantino's movie. But I think it's a good way to spend um, a night. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can eat a lot of popcorn. <laughs> okay. Really okay. Long. It's, it's, it's one of the longest 
and Moby. Oh, okay. Long one, yeah. Okay, I'm going to correct the rest of these, Mustafa and Yuki, but the class time is over, so if you need to go, you can go. Thanks for coming to class, but I'm going to finish up here. So, Thank Mustafa, you, yeah. Every day Thank people... You. Yes. You're welcome. Every day people ask, where can we find a good place? Is it in a small city or a big city? The small and big city, um, every place has specialists in the way of life and the choices for you. Okay, the small and big... Okay, I would say small or big city, and then I put a comma there, every place has um, special thing. let's see, special things regarding the way of life and choices and the choices uh, for you. You have to decide which place you like. The small place can make a friend with all, okay, in a small place, in a or in the small place, comma, you you can make a friend with all the people around you and you will feel that you are in a big family. If you have any problem, comma, you can find people who I would say will help you and give you advice to solve your problem. Furthermore, it is a quiet place far from the noise. The big city is also a good place and has <coughs> um, not specialists, but uh, has, I would say, many special things. You can find what you want anywhere and at all um, times. Whoops. You can go where you want easily and you will find all services without going anywhere. It just, you could say, just by calling the services by mobile. Moreover, the transportation is uh, found all the time to go anywhere. The similarity between the big city and I would say the small city and the big city become closer to each other but the difference is in the cost. When you would like to go to buy something or go to a better school or hospital you need a car and money. For these reasons the big city is a good place uh, and we like to live there and spend our time there. Okay. Any questions, Mustafa? Thanks. Uh, is it good uh, for TOEFL? Yeah, it's it's good. It's. I would say you would have to like. I would say the same thing that I said to uh, Zaki. For TOEFL, it would be clearer if you set it up like this, where you know one paragraph talking about a very specific reason, and then making sure you give your personal. Uh, preference because that's what the question asked for is which place would you prefer to live in so you don't have to compare and contrast too much in this question you really have to just talk about what you prefer and give the reasons why you prefer that yeah. so you, you did that a little bit but not strong enough for the TOEFL for a, I mean you would get an okay score but it wouldn't be like the highest score you know yeah how many words for the TOEFL for the, the, the question. Uh, 500, 500, I think. I, I don't know. You'd have to look that up. I think it's 500, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I 500, can look that up. Uh, the essay? Yes, yeah. but I'm not 100% sure. So you can look that up if you just Google TOEFL essay examples or high score, you know, something like that, and then it will tell you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yuki? Okay, thank you. Let's see, where... Right here, okay. Yuki, the best things I was looking forward to much more when I was a child was a birthday. Okay, I would say the best thing I was looking forward to much more when I was a child was a birthday. The big event, I I would say, yeah, you can say I can have only once a year. As the tradition of our family, children, comma, children, I and my sister had a special right to ask uh, mother to cook our most favorite dishes for our birthday dinner. Since you're talking about you and your sister, yes. so you include yourself. I always asked uh, for beef steaks be because you know Japanese steak is so delicious. It's tender, juicy, melts in your mouth. Okay, I would say and melts in your mouth. 
uh, you will not forget its taste for all your life once you try it, although it is quite expensive. When I came to Russia and tried to eat a steak for the first time, I was surprised um, of its big difference. I would say about its big difference from um, its Japanese equivalent. Russians uh, once... Russians what? Okay. Japanese steak. Japanese. Uh, Russian steak. Russian. Yeah, the Russian. Yeah, the Russian steak. I tried in a restaurant in the center of Moscow. It was so tough and scraggy that I could never bite it off, no matter what effort I made. <laughs> it looked like an old sandal. Then I first. And then I first time recognized it. Then. Okay, you can say, that was the first time I, I, I wouldn't say recognized, it was more like I realized that Japanese right. beef is completely different from that, from the beef, I would just say in Russia, mm. make it, to make it more clear. Okay. After enjoying the flavor of my favorite Japanese steak, a birthday mm. present awaited me, but it was often not so enjoyable. Uh, for me. The birthday yeah. present given to children in my family, I would say, was usually wow. selected and bought by my father. My father had a strong desire for me to become a good sports player or someone who enjoys outdoor activities. But I was not good at doing sports and I didn't like playing outdoors. My father often gave me a sports, uh, I would say some, my father often gave me some, you could say some type of sports uh, gear like a glove, a glove for baseball, a tennis racket, and or in fishing tackles, etc. They did not please me. I wanted more to get um, a microscope, a telescope, table games, mini cars, monster models, plastic models of tanks, comic books, um, such kinds of indoor things. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Okay, guys, thanks for, for coming, and I'll see you another time. Do, you, do anybody have any questions before we leave? Nope? No. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good job. Okay. Bye. Take care. See you. Goodbye. Yeah, you too.